Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Rogers. I'm a neuroscientist at NYU, and I'm also part of an organization called No Science. Our goal is to communicate science in fun and engaging ways and to advocate for science as well. So today I'm going to show you how to make your very own thaumatrope. So what this is, is it's a children's toy from the Victorian era. And basically, you just use it to make two images into one. So it turns out thaumatropes are super easy to make. And so I'm gonna show you a little tutorial to make your very own while you're at home during this quarantine. It's a great activity to do with kids and it was actually super fun to do it as an adult too. So enjoy. So to make your very own thaumatrope, You'll just need a couple of items. They're household items, so you should have them lying around. The first is you're going to need two index cards or note cards. Um, so we're going to use the blank side. Save your two note cards. You're also going to want to have some string. Some colored pencils. You can also do crayons or um, markers. And then if you have a three hole punch, that'll help. If not, it's no big deal. You can just use some scissors to punch the hole into the note card. Okay, so to start, what we'll do is you have your two index cards and we want the two drawings that we're going to make. So we're gonna make a bird in a bird cage, but you can do anything you want. You can do a fish in a fish bowl. You can do a dog chasing birds. Um, you can do any, any drawing that you want. So for this, we're gonna do our, our bird cage and our bird. And so what's really important is that you want the bird cage and the bird to be in pretty much the same place. So that's why I suggest using two note cards so you can kind of space them out equally. Um, if you wanna put very light lines down, you can, you don't have to. And so this card, I'm gonna make my bird cage. So you can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. If you want to thicken up the lines just so that they'll show up nice and easy. All right. So there's our bird cage. Now let's draw our bird. Remember, you want it to be in that same area on the second note card as your cage on the first. So, I'm going to make my bird a little blue bird. So now you have your bird cage and you have your bird. So what you're gonna do for this is that when you put them back to back, you want the bird to be upside down. So this would be your bird and this is the cage, okay? So you're gonna line them up and here's where you'll use that hole punch. So again, if you don't have a hole punch, you can just use your scissors to make the cut. And then we're going to tie these together with our string. So again, 
before tying them, just make sure that they are upside down from each other. double knot just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay, so we've got one side. So now you're ready. Now you just twirl. The strings and you've got your thaumatrope. Now the way this works is because you're actually spinning the card faster than your brain can process the images. So what happens is your eyes are still basically seeing the bird cage when the image flashes to the bird. So you actually end up seeing the two images together for a short period. So these are super easy to make and they're really fun. And I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial on how to make your own filmatrope.